In this video, I'm going to show you how I made the purfling, which is the black and white strip which is inlaid around the edge of the violin. So to make the strips, I start with a plank of blocks elder and set my plane to a heavy cut and simply roll off some shavings. The 2x4 that's clamped to the bench is simply a guide for the plane to make sure that it runs straight and that the shavings come out in even thickness. I'm making these shavings about 0.5 mm and I'm going to make the blacks and the whites the same thickness. Um, different makers use different ratios of black to white. Um, the shavings are wet and I'm going to clamp them between these two boards to get them to uh, dry flat straight so that they're easy to work with. I sent some of the shavings off to Marilyn Bus, natural dyer, who dyed some of them black for me. And there's a video that you can see about that. So here I am, I got the black shavings back and I'm um, gluing them up for laminating using plenty of that homemade tendon glue. And then I'm going to clamp them between the boards again and leave them at least overnight to dry. And then you can actually start using the purfling while it's still damp. And in fact, it's kind of nicer to work with. It doesn't get as brittle as it, as it does when it's uh, older and dried out. It's kind of like the difference between packaged pasta and fresh pasta. The clamps are coming off of the purfling. It's been here, I think, about a week. So, there we go. You can't see much yet, just a black strip. Maybe you can see a little white in that one. And the final step in the process is to cut little two millimeter strips off of the laminate. And for that I'm using my Japanese mortise gauge. Uh, it's a little difficult to get the cut started, but once you get going it goes pretty easily. And there it is. More than enough purfling for one violin. In the next video I'll show you how I inlay the purfling into the plates.